Good evening, students. Hello, hello. Good evening. Hello, Mar. Hello, Juan. Hello, Elizabeth, Maximo, Maricela, hello. Hello, Miss. Good evening. It's a pleasure to see you. Well, to listen to you because I cannot see you right now once again. And welcome to another class. The last one of the week because tomorrow you don't have classes until Monday. Tomorrow is your day off. Mañana es su día libre. Y de ahí nos vemos el lunes otra vez. Ok, so we are going to start today's class. We are going to work a little bit today on daily activities. We are going to work on schedules as well. And we are going to work on your daily routine, the things that you do every day. And we're going to make an introduction to the parts of the house and the objects that we have in the house. So that's going to be our class number three for today. Number four, sorry. This is our class number four. We have been four days together. Han pasado cuatro días y siento que los conozco de hace un montón. Okay, it is very nice. Let's start today. I am going to share my screen because we are going to work a little bit on uh, identifying specific mistakes when we read things. Okay, there we go. And uh, let me know when you can see my screen. Okay. Okay, this is the first thing that we're going to do. Yesterday, I show you these questions because we're going to work on these ones, right? I uh, decided to bring them up, up to today because it is better that we read them together and that we analyze them together. So in this one, tell me true or false according to the different sentences. The first one says, I live in the city. True or false? True. True. Or if you live in the countryside, that's also correct, right? Si viven afuera de la ciudad, it's, uh, in this case, it's false. So Juan Hernandez says true. Maximo? I live in the city. Yes or no? Maybe it could be I live in the downtown. I live downtown also, right? That you live in the center of the city. Elizabeth, do you live in the city? The first one that we have here? Yeah, false. False. Downtown. Downtown. Okay, you live in the suburbs in this case. In the suburbs is in las afueras de la ciudad, in the suburbs. Good, I have a car, true or false? It's false, you say. What about the other ones? Rosario, I have a false. car. True or false? False. Juan? I think that... Um, true. True, okay. For you, right? Remember that the question is for you. Let me yeah, see. Yeah. <laughs> Let, I, th I think that's true, you say. Susana Dominguez, do you have a car? True or false? False. False. Omar? It's false. False. Okay. I live in an apartment. If you, if you live in a house, that is false. But if you live in, a, in an apartment? False, you say, good. If you live in an, in an apartment, it's true. Who lives in an apartment? False. False, a anybody. Todos vivimos en casa, nadie vive en ningún apartamento? No. Good, the next one. I live with my parents. In my case, it's false. I don't live with my parents. True. I don't live with my fathers, true. 
You don't live with your parents, right? Remember parents is mom and dad, the two of them. Good. Who lives with his or her parents? Quien vive con sus papás? True. True, you say. Okay, Rosario, who else? Quien más? True. True, also, very good. Who else? We are todos somos adultos independientes. I do my homework at school. This one is false for everybody <laughs> because we don't go to school. We don't go to school. The school is in our house right now. Ahorita la escuela la tenemos en la casa. Entonces ahí sí, I do my homework at school. I do my homework alone. Hago mi tarea solo. True or false? True. True. False. I, I, I will believe. Okay, false. You are very honest. <laughs> I ride nah, my <laughs> I ride my bike to school. True or false? I think it's false. Uh, who goes to to uh, to work by bike? ¿Quién va a trabajar en bicicleta aquí? False. False, right? I think no one. I have sisters or I have a sister. Who has sisters here? I have a sister. For me, it's true. I have a sister. I have a sister. I have a sister. Very good. Yes, true. I have brothers, or I have a brother. I have a brother. I have a brother. I work. Me too, right? I work downtown. Yes, I work downtown. Yes. I work downtown. I work downtown too. Very good. So we are going to go to the next exercise. We're going to go to the next exercise here. And let me see. Okay. La última cámara que se encienda va a contestar la primera. Porque no veo ninguna cámara. Solo como dos cámaras. El primero, el último que encienda cámara es el que contesta el primero. Vamos. Vamos a ver. Rosario ya se salvó, Elizabeth ya se salvó, Susana también, Arvin también, Máxima ya se salvó también, quiero ver quién más se salva, Marisela ya se salvó, no importa que esté cenando aquí, no, que usted se continúe, la cosa es que estemos presentes. Máximo, sí, Juan, ya se salvó Juan. Hey, Máximo, ¿qué pasó? Estaba salvado. Ah, está de nuevo. Omar y Esmeralda, vamos a ver quién no se salva. Omar y Esmeralda nos quedan. Vamos a ver quién. Ay, Juan, que se nos fue también. Ay, ya volvió oh, Juan. Miedo, están. <ríe> Omar y Esmeralda van a contestar las dos primeras. ¿Qué pasó con las cámaras, chicos? Solo ustedes me quedaron. Se salvó, se salvó. Esmeralda, ¿dónde está? Ey, huyó. ¿Qué pasó, Esmeralda? Omar, le tocó. The first one. Omar, go ahead. Yes. <ríe> ¿Qué pasó con la cámara? Solo usted no faltó. Ya volvió Esmeralda. Y se nos fue Juan. Aquí me, es como el, las donas. Me quitan el dos por uno, me vuelve uno. De ahí lo vuelven a poner. There you go. Okay. What is the first one? What is the mistake with the first one? Omar. Omar, what is the mistake with the first sentence? What is the what problem? Is, uh -huh. What is mistake? Mistake. ¿Cuál es el error? Mm. Okay. Sería la forma del verbo. Uh -huh. But what is the correct form? ¿Cuál sería la forma correcta entonces? Like. ¿Qué utilizaría ese? Uh -huh. Do you think? It says, do he like basketball? What type, do, what type do, of auxiliary do you use with do? With he, sorry. Does. Does. Ajá, por ahí vamos, por ahí vamos. So, what will be the sentence? Entonces, ¿cómo nos quedaría la oración? Does he like basketball? Does he like basketball? Very good. The problem was the auxiliary because it says do. And for he, you use does. Does he like? Very good. Thank you. Very nice. Let's go with Esmeralda, number two. I... 
What is the problem with that one? Lo siento es que no tenía señal. Oh, don't worry, don't worry. Ok, estamos corrigiendo las oraciones. Uh -huh. ¿Cuál es el problema con la oración aquí? I like eating pizza. No tiene que llegar ese. Exactly. Uh, I, I like. I like. I like. Sin la S. Excellent. I like eating uh, pizza. Mister. It's I like, right? I like eating pizza. That's correct. The S is the problem. Mr. Juan, because you don't have a camera. Number three. What is the, the problem? third one? What is the problem with number three? Uh, she does. She does her homework on the service bus. Very good. Susana Dominguez, number four. What is the problem with number four? I don't know. The film. The film, the nos, referimos, nos referimos a it. The film. Eso. Un objeto. The film. Tiene que agregarse la S. The films. Ah, but this is plural. Si le ponemos aquí la S, estamos haciendo un plural. Okay. What will be the problem? Sigamos analizando. Si no, pedimos ayuda con el público. 50-50. La llamada. La llamada. Ok, le va a hacer la llamada. ¿A quién le va a hacer la llamada? A Arvin. Ok, Arvin. Arvin, ayúdele. A Susi. I, I think it's finishes. Finishes. Very good, right? The conjunction of the verb, right? The, the connection, the difference that we make on the verb. Finishes. Because it finished in SH, you have to add ES. Finishes. At Eight. Very good. Excellent. It was perfect. Thank you, Arvin, for helping your friend. The next one, number five, it's going to be for Maximo. It says, my friends goes on holidays next week. The microphone, sweetie, I cannot listen to you. My friends go. My friends go. Go on holiday next week. Very good job. Excellent, Maximo. Fantastic. Because it's plural. Friends go. <laughs> Very good job. Let's see. Patricia Elizabeth. Let's do the next one. Seria. Uh, Eh, sería Caris y sería uh -huh, porque es, es she, es tercera persona. Yes, very good. She carries, right? And as it finishes with Y in a consonant, you change to IES. No le agregamos solo S, sino que IES. Very good. Excellent. Very good, Susana. Elizabeth, the next one. Nicole Kidman, the actress. And this is the verb. Yes. So you say Nicole Kidman acts in a lot of films. Very good job. Rosario, the next one. Yes. Dígame. Donde dice que gusta comer pizza. Es así uh, correcto. I like uh, eating. No I, like, like eating. I like. I like. O sea, comer, el verbo comer. Ah, es, es en, bien, ¿verdad? Ajá, pero en este caso, el verbo principal de esta oración en particular es like. Y, y, ajá. Um, porque Entonces, no podemos poner eatings. Tenemos, o sea, tenemos que poner eatings. En este caso sí, porque dice me gusta comer pizza. Entonces el, el verbo principal que tenemos en esa oración específicamente es like. 
Entonces, por eso a ese se deja normal y no se le agrega nada más. ¿verdad? Ajá. Sí, es que hay dos verbos ahí, ¿verdad? Ajá, hay dos verbos, pero el principal en este caso es este. Ese sería el auxiliar para complementar la información. Ajá, sí, por eso estaba, estaba como un poquito dudoso, porque supuestamente ahí dice, me gusta comiendo pizza, si lo leemos literalmente. Ajá, yeah, if you read it, if you read literally, literally, as, as you do it, it's like that, but it's like, I like eating pizza, es la acción de comer pizza, me gusta comer en este caso. And you can say, if you tell me this one, for example, I am eating pizza. Ya sería diferente. En este caso ya no es. Sería con el gerundio ahí. ¿verdad? Exactamente. So in this case, the main verb, it will be this one. Aquí sí ya el verbo principal es este. Y este es un auxiliar en este caso. Teacher. Yes. Can I say, I like to eat pizza? Exactly. You can use it as an infinitive too. Podemos usarlo como infinitivo. Podemos decir, I like to eat. Y tiene el mismo significado. I like to eat pizza, I like eating pizza, I am eating pizza, ya es otra cosa. Okay, so I think I, I kind of Teacher. explained that. Yes, Maximo? In the number three. Number three, uh-huh. Do is a verb, not auxiliary. Yes. No, in this case is the main verb, hacer. This is the verb of the sentence. Porque aquí ya no tenemos otro verbo, si se fija. Aquí her es el, el, el object pronoun, homework, it's a, a noun. Y on the service bus es otro noun. Entonces el único verbo que tenemos es do. And let's finish with the exercise. ¿Ya no hay otra pregunta? Chicos. Sí, ¿cómo curar el COVID? Todavía no sé. <ríe> ¿Y de dónde vienen los niños? Tampoco. <ríe> Our, our teacher talk very clearly. What is the problem on that one? Our teacher talk very clearly. This is the subject, our teacher. What will talks. be the change? Talks. talks, talks, right? Because you are talking about she, right? Our teacher. Por ejemplo, si me dicen our, pero es nuestro. Ajá, pero es nuestra teacher, ella. Our teacher talks very clearly. Good, very good. So you found the mistakes and that's very nice, right? You had the opportunity to analyze and this is good, right? A mí me gusta de veras no solo preguntarles, hagan, díganme, sino que analicemos dónde está y por qué. Y por qué le va a cambiar. O sea, no solo póngale, sino que también veamos de dónde viene el, el cambio. So that was very good. Excellent job. The one that you did here, you have the changes that you were doing to the different sentences, right? Does he like basketball? The next sentence, me ayudan todos a leerla. He likes. Ahí le cambié el likes. Eating pizza, number three. Number four. The film, yeah. the, film finishes at a. A. the film finishes at A. The next one, number five. My friends, my my friends go on oh, holiday, holiday, holiday next week. week. My friends go on holiday next week. The next one, she. She car in the morning. The next one, Nicole Kidman. Acting a lot of films. The next one. We play, play in, the, we play in the, garden the garden at break. Very good. The next one. Oh, our oh, teacher, teacher talks, talks very, clear. very clearly. Our teacher talks very clearly. Very good job. Fantastic, my dear students. Very good. Okay, let's continue here. We are going to go to the next part of this one. In this one, we have some prepositions of time that I know that you have studied this before. We have at, in, and on, right? Three different prepositions of time. At, in, and on. And you use these ones for different purposes, right? You use, for example, I have here some examples, early, late, every day, at nine, at noon, at night, in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, 
on Sundays, on weekends, on weekdays. ¿Conocemos todas las palabras que les he presentado? ¿O hay alguna que no la conozcamos? ¿No? What is early? Early, yes. temprano. Uh -huh. Early or late. Late is the opposite, right? Early, late. Like at 11, 12. Yes. Every day, for sure, every single day, right? Uh, in this case, when you have times, when you have a specific times, you say at. You cannot say in nine, in eight, because it's incorrect. You cannot say on nine, because it's incorrect. You say at nine, at seven, at six, right? And it is very common. It, this is a very common mistake. When you say, when you say at nine o'clock PM. So you say at 9 PM, just that. Okay, porque si solo decimos nine, ya sabemos que es en punto. Porque si no es 9.10, 9.15, 9.20. Entonces es un error bien común decir at 9 o'clock p.m. Y es como innecesario. Es como el subiste para arriba de nosotros. <laughs> Subo, bájate para abajo. It's, it's not really necessary. You say at 9 p.m. At 7 p.m. Or 7 a.m. Because you know that it's o'clock. Right? So this is one thing for you to remember. At noon. It's al mediodía, right? At midnight, it's a medianoche. And at night, you say at night. You don't say in night or on night, porque es incorrecto. You say in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, at night. Okay? Cuando nos conectamos a la clase, decimos good evening. No, decimos good night, yeah. Good evening, porque es todavía... Cuando estamos despiertos, aún en la tarde noche. That's when you use good evening. Um, on Sundays, on weekdays, on weekends. With the days of the week, you use on, right? You don't say at Monday because it's incorrect. So here I have a little uh, description. Let me see. I think I have it right here. At, in, and on. In which cases do we use at? For precise times. At three o'clock, at 10.30, at noon, at dinner time, right? At bedtime, at sunrise, at sunset, right? Those are the forms that we use for, let me move this one a little bit. At sunset, at the moment, okay? Sunrise es cuando el sol sale. The sun rises, okay? Cuando se eleva, cuando sube, sunrise. And sunset is sun sets down. El amanecer y el atardecer. That it's sunrise and sunset. The next one, in. In which cases do you use in? ¿En qué casos usamos in? ¿Quién me ayuda a leerlo? Month. Yes. Years. Decades. Decades. Centuries. Decades. Season. Uh -huh. What else? In May. In May. In May. In summer. In the summer. It's the same. In the ¿Lo summer. Podemos usar de las dos formas? In. In 1999. In 1990 or in 2008. Aquí hacemos la excepción cuando leemos fechas. Cuando la fecha es de 1900 tanto, primero leemos la mitad. Right? You say 1990, 1980, 1970. Okay? Tell me, when were you born? In what year? In which year were you born? In 1991. 1991. Good, Arvin, you're very young. 1991. Let's see, Esmeralda? In which year? I know se cómo se dice 2000. 2000. I'm 2000. 2000. In 2000. Oh my God, you're very young. Only 22 years old. Good. 
Me acuerdo cuando tenía 22, yeah. hace dos años. Ah, ah. Todavía no. <risa> oh, ok, todavía so you're 21. Wow. Yeah. Rosario, in which year were you born? Este, no sé cómo decirlo en inglés, solo que lo estoy diciendo así separado, los números. Uh -huh. eh, teacher. Tell me. Este, one, nine, eight, three. 1983. 1983. Okay. A mucha honra con sus 38 años. That's very good. Yes. Elizabeth, in which year were you born? In which year were you born? 19 what? Uh, seven, seven, eight. Seventy. Seventy-eight. Nineteen seventy-eight. Good. Nineteen seventy-eight. Excellent. Let me see. Eh, Omar. Hello. In which year were you born? I'm nineteen ninety-four. Nineteen ninety-four. Okay, Maximo. I am older, teacher. <laughs> In which year? 1964. 1964. Good. Let me see. Patricia? 19. No, see, 19. Uh, today's the mathematic moment. It's like. 19. <laughs> 19. <laughs> Se me olvidaba cómo se pronuncia 90. 90. 1993. 1993. Good. Yes. Susana? 1987. 1987. Good. Juan? 1999. 1999. You're very young. Esmeralda? Oh, Esmeralda told me already. In, uh -huh. In so. 2000. 2000. 2000. 2000. Because you say mil is thousand. Dos mil, two thousand. Tres mil, three thousand. Right. Maricela, in which year were you born? Uh, 1991. 1991. And Maritza? Maritza, in which year were you born? It's a mystery. She doesn't want to share. <laughs> In which year do you think I was born? ¿En qué año creen ustedes que yo nací? Give me, give me a number. Uh -huh. 1994. <laughs> 1994. No. <laughs> mm -hmm. Another one. Another shot. Okay. Throw me your best number. 1985. Ah, close, 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 close. <laughs> I was born in 1984. Imagine. <laughs> almost, almost, almost. I was born in 1984. Yeah, mucha honra con mis 37 años aquí de vida. Y 19 experiencia. <laughs> so, imagine. That's the way you use in, all right? Ese fue el momento de dolor en la columna. Ya los hice recordar cuántos años tienen. Uh, exactly in the years. 1990 is when you use it in separate things. But from 2000 on, del 2000 para allá decimos 2008, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 21, 22, okay? You don't say 2008. No, you say 2008, 2007, 2020. Right? That's the way you use it. In the 1990s, in the next century, in the ice age, in the past or in the future. And in the next one, for on, you use it with days and dates, on Sunday, on Tuesdays. Yes, Juan? Tell me. Juan? Uh, did you say that the correct term to say uh, 2001? Uh, but I have already heard 
uh, a native speaker that says 2020. Uh, yeah, so yeah. 2020. 2020. 2020. Oh, yeah, it's like it's very common. But the most common form that you are going to listen, it's 2000, 2021. Americans are very common uh, when they speak and they say 2020, 2021, 2022. It's also it's okay. I mean, you can use it, but the most common form, as I was mentioning, si se puede, la utilizan, y la más común es decir 2000. 2001, 2, 3, 4, 5. Pero si se puede dividir. Si lo quieren dividir, it's okay. 2008, 2021, 2022. You can use it like that. It's okay. Thank you, Juan, for your report. Thank you. Uh, on, you use it with on Tuesdays, on March 6th on December 25th, on Christmas Day, on Independence Day, on my birthday and on New Year's Eve. This is also very common when you say on 6 March. Pero me van a decir, teacher, pero es que no es incorrecto decir el número primero y después el mes. Cuando usamos British English, lo pueden, lo pueden encontrar de esta manera, on 6 March or on March 6, que sería la forma americana. Así que por eso les pongo los ejemplos ahí para que también lo reconozcamos. Y si lo vemos en algún escrito o algo, dices, y tenemos el número primero, on 6 March, viene de British English. No cambia el sentido, no cambia el significado. Just the order, in this case. Okay, on 25th December, on my birthday and on New Year's Eve. So this is clear when you use at, when you use in, and when you use on. Please don't mix it, don't confuse them, okay? Because that's the most common problem. Don't mix this. But now that you know the order, it's not very common that to happen, right? We have some examples. Uh, I have a meeting at nine. The shop closes at midnight. Jane went home at lunchtime. In England, it often snows in December. Do you think we will go to Jupiter in the future? Okay. There should be a lot of progress in the next century. Do you work on Mondays? Her birthday, it's on November 20. And where will you be on New Year's Day? These are some examples of the sentences. And we are going to practice a little bit here. So for this one, I am going to give you the chance that you analyze it. And we have the exercises there. Si tienen ya alguna de las respuestas, me la pueden dar y yo la ubico. Are we going to use at, in, or on? Y si no necesita, no ponemos nada. Lo voy a dejar abierto para el que me quiera dar alguna respuesta. Teacher? Yes, Maximo. Do you go to bed at late? Do you go to bed at late? Okay, good, good thing. Si tenemos esta marca aquí, es porque no necesitamos una preposición. Do you go to bed late? Late no lleva preposición antes. Si se recuerdan en la imagen que vimos al principio, se las vuelvo a mostrar por aquí. Creo que es esta. Aquí tenemos early, late, every day. Esas tres no llevan, no usan. But it's a very good observation. I really like it, okay? Good. The next one. At. Yes, In I which, do. I go to bed. Uh -huh. I go to bed at, at, at 1 a.m., but I go to bed early. On weekends. On Wednesdays. On weekend. uh, weekdays. On weekdays. On the next weekdays. one. Do you study? In the morning. In the morning. In the afternoon. In the afternoon. I study. In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. I study in the morning. Um, on, on, weekends. Weekends. on weekends. On weekends. Oh, okay. On weekends. And I study? In, in the evening. In the evening. In the evening. evening. Good. On Mondays. On Mondays. Okay. On, Wednesdays. Um, on Mondays <laughs> and Wednesdays. Very good job. Let's continue here. What time do you get up? In, in the, the morning. morning. In the morning. On um, weekdays. On, on weekdays. Weekday. It's very good. I get up. I get up at, at eight. At. I get up at eight. 
on on every day on, in every days chun, chun, chun. Oh. i will go back here in ah, no, every, day. <laughs> every day <laughs> every you day don't, you don't use it every day doesn't doesn't need anything right every day it's a uh, zero okay. good then <laughs> do you have english class in the morning. In the morning. In the morning. You have English class in the morning. I have English at 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 one thirty. One thirty. In the afternoon. In the afternoon. In the afternoon. On Tuesday. On Tuesday. On Tuesday. On Tuesday. And Thursday. And on Mondays. On Monday. On Mondays, Wednesday, and Fridays. Our class is at at at, at three. At three, very good job, right? You did an exercise in a very good way. Remember, late, early, and every day, don't need a preposition before. But for the next ones, yes, you need it, at, in, or on. Fantastic job, students. You did it very, very, very well. Let's go here. I think I am going to go to, wait, wait, wait. I am going to open the next one. I'm going to stop sharing this one. And I am going to open my next presentation. Aquí estoy. No me he ido. Don't worry, don't worry. And we are going to work in the final exercises for this topic. Okay, we're going to go uh, for the last exercises here on the topic. And I am going to share it with you right now. Here we go. I have some questions, right? The ones that we have been practicing. And I need one volunteer, raise your hand, to help me read the questions. One volunteer. Juan, very good. Thank you very much. Go ahead. OK, give me a second. Uh, OK. OK, we are going to read this one. So I'm going to mark them for you. Vamos a leer esta de aquí. OK. Simple pressing questions. Uh, do you get up early? No, I get up late. Does he have lunch at noon? No, she, no, he eats lunch at one o'clock. Do they drive to work? Yes, they drive to work every day. Thank you very much, Juan. Thank you for your help and thank you for reading. I need another volunteer for the next part. Thank you, another volunteer. Hands up, hands up, or open your microphone and tell me. Here I am. Arvin, go ahead. What time do you what time do you get up? At 10 o'clock. What time does he have lunch? At one o'clock. When do they drive to work? Every day. Every day. Very good job. Now. Tell me, students, in general, do you get up early? Do you get up early? Se levantan temprano? Yes. 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 What is early for you? Yes. <laughs> yes. I get up early. I mean, early? Early at 10 a.m.? <laughs> no, early for me, early is from 5 to 7. That's early. It's yeah. like, no, no, DJ. Yeah, early. <laughs> Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, early. Tell me, do you have lunch? Do you have lunch exactly at noon? Cabala las doce, exactly at noon? No. No. Yeah. What time do you have lunch, Arvin? At the oh. 1 p.m. At 1 p.m., okay. Yeah, 1, one thirty. Oh, so yeah, that's kind of late. Let's see. Who has lunch at 12? ¿Quién come cabal a las 12? No. I, oh, okay. I, you do it at exactly at 12. That's good. Tell me, do you drive to work? No. 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 Tienen, yes. cho tienen chofer privado. <laughs> no, I take the bus. Yeah, that's the, the private the private driver. Tenga, señor, una moneda por, por llevarme. <laughs> the private driver in a Mercedes Benz. Let's see. What time do you uh, get up? 
What time do you get up on Saturdays? El sábado. What time do you get up on Saturdays? At seven. At seven. Good. At and nine. At nine. And on Sundays? At 10 a.m. At 10? Yes. Yeah, at 11, 10. Wow. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> it's so fantastic. 3 p.m. At 3 p.m. Oh, wow. Bye. <laughs> At, at five in the morning or at 5 p.m. <laughs> no. Uh, at morning. Five in the morning. Yeah, I get up at five in the morning. Yeah. Because I go to work. Mm -hmm. Right? But it, it's good. Let me see. Um, I think it's like the last question that I had for you. So in this case, what you have here is a simple present questions with yes, no, and with WH. What is the difference? ¿Qué diferencia le ven a las preguntas con do y a las preguntas con wh? Analyze. What difference can you see? <laughs> Ones go with do and the other ones with wh. <laughs> What is the difference? En la de acá de do you get up early? Casi siempre se, se responde con, con el yes, yes and no. Mm -hmm. And in the other ones? In the WH? WH uh, se tiene que dar una respuesta más concreta. Excellent job, Esmeralda. Reactions for Esmeralda, people. It was a very good answer. Start for you, Esmeralda. Very good answer. With do and does, the sentences are for yes, no answers. WH questions, you need information. Do you get up early? No. But if I say, what time do you get up? ¿A qué hora te levantas? Ah, I get up at 10. I get up at 9. Right? You don't have an option just to say yes or no. But you have to give more information. It's like, do you drive to work? Mm, yes. But if I say, when? What, what days do you drive to work? Ah, every day or only on Monday, only on Friday. You need a specific information. Esa es la diferencia entre las preguntas con do or does en general o con wh. También las preguntas que comienzan con is or are son de yes or no. Entonces ahí nos limitamos a una respuesta. But if you have wh, what is your name? Where do you live? How old are you? Uh, what's the name of your mother? You need a specific information. You cannot say yes. What's your name? Yes. It's impossible. Okay. So that is the main difference. Thank you, Esmeralda. It was an excellent answer, the one that you gave me. So to create these ones, what do you think it's necessary to complete these sentences? Ahí le dejo unas oraciones. ¿Cómo las completaríamos? Do, in the second one. Uh -huh. Do you get up early on weekends? Esa es la primera, on weekdays. What time? Do you, do you go what time home? do you go home? What about the next one? Your mother works? Where? Where? Aha. Uh -huh. Very good, very good question. You have, does your mother work? Yes or no. Pero si ya le ponemos aquí, where, ya queremos más información. No nos quedamos con eso nada más. Where, oh, okay. pero aquí tendríamos que cambiarla. Uh, let me make the change here. Si quisiéramos la información de dónde trabaja, we can say, where does your mother work? Okay. But if you say only, does your mother work? Yes or no. Okay. The next one, how your father get to work? How? How does? How, how does? does. Very good. How does your father get to work? And the next one, your parents read in the evening. That's what? When? What? When? No. Mm, when you have, what? When do? What your parents? Aquí ya tenemos when, ya lo tenemos en la respuesta. In the evening. Mm. No podemos poner yeah, when. What? What? Uh, okay, you can say what, pero nos falta algo más. What does? What does? Okay, si tenemos your parents. Do. Aquí es plural. Your parents, tus papás. Yes, do. Do. So you say, what? What? 
What do your parents okay. read in the evening? Yeah. It can be the newspaper, a magazine, or something. Or if you leave only the sentence, do your parents read in the evening? It's also correct. Yes, they do, or no, they don't. The next one, when your parents shop. When do. When do. When do, right? Cuando tus papás se van de compras. Okay. Invent one question using thus. I will leave you the time for you to invent the question. With Does thus. she come early? Does she come early? Very good. Does she come early? Good. Con what time? What time? What time does she go to the bed? What time does she go to bed? Good, very good. What time does she go? Go to the bed. To bed, okay, to bed in, in this case. It's not necessary the bed. It's, it's okay, but it's not really necessary. What time does she go to bed? Do. Do you practice English? Do you practice English? Yes, I do. Do you practice English? Very nice. And the next one, when? When? When do you born? Ooh, good question. But in this case, you say, when were you born? Esa sería esa, para esa forma sería esta pregunta. Where, uh, uh, when sorry. were you born? Born. Okay, so, but we, it's good. We have an example. If I say, when do you have class? Well, ¿cómo me responderían esa? When do you have class? From Monday to Thursday. From Monday to Thursday. De lunes al jueves. When do you have class? And if I say, where, where do you have the class? I have the class in Zoom <laughs> or through Zoom. So, but in this case, when, cuando, cuando tienes clases. So that is the form that we use. It was a very good practice, my dear students. Very good practice. So I am going to give you this one for, okay. This is personal practice, okay? Y ahí lo vamos a hacer en su cuaderno cada quien. Aquí tenemos diferentes situaciones. Drive a car, eat breakfast, exercise, Get up early, go to the movies, go to work, have dinner late, play tennis, read the newspaper, sleep late, take a walk, and watch television. I need you to take one day of the week. I have five, I have the seven days here, and I need you to choose two of the sentences that I have on the top to give me one affirmative sentence and one negative sentence. I am going to choose Friday. I... Uh, okay, I uh, sleep late. I sleep late on Friday. I sleep late. I sleep late on Fridays, and it says I don't. Uh, let's say I don't get up early on Fridays. This is just to invent two sentences, okay? I have two phrases here. I sleep late on Fridays. I don't get up early on Fridays, okay? So choose one day and choose two activities. Create one affirmative sentence and one negative sentence, okay? Go ahead, on your notebook. On your notebook, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I don't have no book. Okay, penalty. El pollo. El pollo con una... <laughs> Let's get a notebook. Vamos, tenemos que conseguir uno. Recuerden que el primer día les dije que era obligación tener uno. Porque hay que escribir siempre. Así que para el lunes, forrado. Con papel rosado. <laughs> like in the school. <laughs> y con etiqueta. No, get a notebook, please. You are going to use it. Okay. Y el vocabulario y todo, ¿dónde lo escribes? Uh, es que 
en realidad estoy como eh, repasando para no, que no se me olvide. No, but it's necessary. You need to review. You need to write. That's the best way. Si estamos repasando y estudiando, hay que ejercitar todo. Listening, speaking, reading, and writing. But it's good. On Monday, get a note. Okay. Okay, right now, there in, in the chat, if you want, you can write it there. So when you have the sentences, let me know for you to read them for me. Ready? Sentences? Yes, no? Who has the sentences? Remember to raise your hand or on the camera, show me or open your microphone and tell me. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Uh, on some days, I go to the supermarket and I don't get up early. I go to the supermarket and I don't get up early. Very good job. Excellent okay. sentences. Another one. Who has the sentences? Okay, Maximo. I don't drive a car on Sunday. I don't drive a car on Sundays, good. I watch TV on Sunday. I watch TV on Sundays, that's fantastic. Excellent sentences. Arvin, go ahead. I don't drive a car on Mondays. Uh -huh. And I go to the movies on Saturday. Very good job, who else? Thank you, good sentences, very nice. Yes, who's next? Omar, Esmeralda, Marisela, Maritza, Miss Elizabeth, Rosario. Uh -huh. Go ahead. Uh, uh, Saturday. Uh -huh. I go to work on Saturday. I don't go, I don't go to work on Saturday, I am asleep. <laughs> okay, I don't go to work on Saturday, I sleep, you say. Very good job. The next one. Uh, I don't know who's next. Maritza, Maricela. My friends always go to the movies on Thursday. My and friends, I uh huh. Continue. I don't get up early on Sunday. I don't get up early on Sundays. Thank you very much. Great sentences. Rosario, go ahead. Like with my children on Sunday. Good. And the negative? Um, I just create one, but I don't. I don't, y escoge una de las oraciones. I don't uh, play children uh, Sunday. I no. don't, ok, porque esa es la que tenemos de afirmativa. I play with my children on Sunday, ok, esa es la afirmativa. Yes. Escojamos una de las que tenemos aquí en el cuadro y le ponemos I don't. I don't drive a car, I don't exercise, I don't work. Vamos a ver. Or I don't watch television. One of these ones. 
I don't play tennis. I don't play tennis. Good, very good. Excellent. Let's see, uh, am I missing? Uh, let me see, let me see. Maritza, please, I'm missing also Omar. Thank you. Yes, Rosario. I that's good. Okay, eh, alguien más? ¿Quién me, ¿Quién me falta? Mr. Omar. Miss Maritza. And the rest of you already participate. That's good. Okay. Well, I am going to continue then. If I don't have more participants, I am going to continue. Okay, and this is the final questions that I am going to add for this exercise. And in this case, I am I need you please, I need you please to check on your uh, on your WhatsApp because I am going to send the questions there. I am going to send them there because we are going to practice in a very very quick way. Okay. I'm going to send them to your chat on WhatsApp because you are going to practice them. And here I go. Okay. I am going to send you to working groups in a very quick way. And you are going to ask the questions to your partner. Okay. You are going to ask the questions to your partner and you are going to say, hey, uh, do you work? Um, on Saturdays, do you live with your parents? Do you uh, eat dinner with your family? So you are going to answer the questions with your partner, okay? Vamos a hacer como dos minutitos nomás, así que aprovechemos el tiempo de las preguntas. Esas preguntas que les envié al chat son las que nos vamos a hacer en el grupo en el que nos toque. Let's go and do it right now. It's a very quick exercise. Receive the invitation and go. Okay, okay, very good. Omar received the invitation. Maritza, Arbin, we are missing you in the groups. Arbin. There you go. Eh, Omar. Y Maritza. Eh, chicos, solo ustedes dos me hacen falta para que se unan a los grupos. Thank you. Y Maritza, ¿le llegó la invitación para unirse al grupo? There you go. Okay, Maritza, le llegó la invitación. ¿Qué, ¿Qué significa vos? Vos. Um, ambos. 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 Ah, okay. eh, eh, Trabajan los, eh. tus, dos, los, tus dos papás. No. Do both no. your parents work? Do both your parents work? Ambos papás. Ambos papás trabajan. 
Yes. Yeah, yeah. that's it. No. Okay. okay. Do you watch television at night? Do you watch television at night? Good. Yes. Yes. Hello. Did you finish? Yes. ¿Ya terminaron con todas las preguntas? <coughs> Mr. Maximo, Miss Rosario, ¿terminaron? Yes. Okay, good. Tell me, do you work on Saturdays? Yes. Yes, yes. I do. You say, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Very good. Complete answers. Remember, do you okay. live? Do you live with your parents? Yes. Yes, I do. And if you want no, to give me a no. complete or no, no I, I don't. Do. Good. If you want to give me a complete answer, you say like, yes, I do. I live with my parents. Or but, no. Uh huh. But my mom lives with me. Ah, but my mom's live. My mom lives with me. Good. You see more information. Okay. Let's go to the main session. Miss, su micrófono está apagado. Y esos son los números de la lotería. Espero que los hayan anotado. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if not, I'm very sorry. <laughs> okay, eh, ese fue el secreto del amor eterno. Okay, good. Teacher. <laughs> yes. I can read your lips. <laughs> oh my God, what did I say? <laughs> I was asking the questions. Okay, thank you. Ahora tiene los números ganadores. Tell me, everybody, do you watch television at night? Yes or no? Yes. 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 Do you stay home on weekends? Yes no. or no? Yes. Yes. No, well, not with food or flurona, coronavirus, and all this. Stay home. <laughs> and no. let me see. Do you eat dinner with your family? Yes. Yes. Yeah. No? yes. 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 Do you like your English class? Yes. 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 <laughs> okay. I am very happy about it. Well, my dear students, we are going to stop right here and we are going to continue with the topics on monday please practice your english work on the platform if you need help remember that we are here i am going to see you on monday to continue learning thank you have a beautiful weekend you good night have a beautiful, good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. good night bye 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 take care